It was the worst kept secret of this year's E3, but the PSP Go has finally wended its way over to our offices for us to have a proper play. Now the first thing we should do is probably to compare it to its predecessor, the PSP 3000. Now straight away you can see that about a third of the bulk has been shaved off, and also quite obviously the button arrangement has changed. On the PSP 3000, they're all around the screen here, but on the Go, they're hidden away in this slide out section. The control pad is a little bit cramped and the buttons are smaller, closer together and flatter, which is bad news for big thumbed goons like me and also means that button presses are a little bit less positive. While other controls, like the volume and brightness, sit rather awkwardly on the thin strip between the shoulder buttons. Now onto the analog stick. Disappointingly, there's still only one and it hasn't been made any easier to use by its placement near the center of the unit. One of the other big differences is that there's no longer a UMD drive. This has been swapped out in favor of 16 gig of flash storage. Now the Go uses the same slick XMB interface and games can be downloaded via Wi-Fi through the PlayStation Store. In addition to this, there's now Bluetooth support and a memory stick micro slot where there was once a memory stick duo one. As a media player, the Go has much the same credentials as the 3000, with video looking similar, if that little bit smaller. While on the music front, we found it to be very capable, certainly outclassing Nintendo's DSi. But if you do want a top class MP3 player, you should probably look elsewhere. The PSP Go is really more of an overhaul than a complete reinvention. So owners of the PSP 3000 probably won't be rushing down to the shops anytime soon. Although owners of previous models just might. Outside of the Sony stable, it should prove a worthy adversary for the Nintendo DSi. And with titles like the Loco Roco, Patapon, and Little Big Planet, it could steal some of its thunder. If you want one, it's out on the 1st of October, priced at around 250 pounds.